Please start the session, sir. Yes, madam. Let room fest get ready. Yes. Good morning to all. This is Chandra Mohan, Artho Physiotherapist from Sri Samraj Physiotherapy Center, Dindivanam, Tamil Nadu. A warm welcome to all for the EXRX India and Sri Samraj Health Services Private Limiting, Limited presenting Webata, a web series. We EXRX India and Sri Samraj Health Services and all our associates are enthusing for the world record in the field of physiotherapy, not just counting the topics, but also responsibly providing knowledge for the physiotherapist in India and 25 other countries. Apart from this, EXRX India and Sri Samraj Health Services is providing online OG consultation for the women's health related issue in association with Peak Health Studio, Chennai, and Dusar Creations from West Bengal, powered by Fitness and Rehab India, YouTube channel, and LARC, Lalit Academy and Research Center from Karnataka. EXRX India's 225th topic is Brain Mapping and Physiotherapy in India will be presented by Professor Dr. Ali Iran, PhD and Doctorate in Physiotherapy, twice Head of Department Physiotherapy, Sports Medicine and presently he is Chairperson International Affairs, IAP and Principal NMIMS University. Before I call upon him, I would like to say a few words about some other person also. How come I come to know about Dr. Ali Irani? You can go screen off now, Rupesh. So I was like one uh, student session, I was seeing uh, 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 in a participant list. The name was displayed there, Ali Irani. So I was asking the presenter, presenter is none other than she is here actually, I will introduce her also. And I was like making a, a, I thought that someone is going to make fun of me today in EXRX India's webinar. Somebody came in Ali Rani's uh, name, so today, okay. Then I was asking the presenter that, is this your classmate Ali Rani? And she was like, no sir, this is Ali Rani sir. Is, are you real? She said yes. And then I was requesting, Sir Ali Irani, sir, please go on cam. That was morning 6.30 a.m. episode. Okay, I can't believe he is so fresh, attentive, and he was so uh, showing a lot of interest in the students' webinar. That's how I came to know uh, Ali Irani, sir. Uh, then it was nice 30 seconds or 45 seconds talking to him on that very early morning. It was uh, 21 webinar sessions on that day. And he came for the uh, second session and it gave us energy, you know, Ali Irani sir has come, let us go, do it, do it, do it. It gave some energy for the whole day for us, for the smallest team who is doing all the webinars. The presenter is none other than Dr. Ria. Out of respect, just because of her only, I came to know Dr. Ali Irani. Actually, we know him, but by personally. So this is the right way to thank her, I feel. So I call upon Dr. Ria Panchal to uh, say words and uh, I re say, request our resource person also. Please do that. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words. Hi, everyone. Good morning and happy Teacher's Day to all who ever shared their knowledge with Anibal. Welcome to today's special 2055th session of EXRX India. And yes, I'm talking about the team who has turned this demotivating lockdown period into the rain of knowledge. The water of this wonderful rain is stored on YouTube channel, The Fitness India and Rehab, in which you can dip your brain anytime. And today we have with us Professor Dr. Ali Rani, sir. 
welcome so much sir it's a moment of great happiness for me today that i am welcoming the ideal person of my life and yes the ideal and the role model of many physio he is the pioneer behind the sports physiotherapy has got fame in india as he is the first indian sports physiotherapist of indian cricket team and even the first indian sports physio for any indian sports team professor and doctor ali rani sir is one who has proved from his huge achievements that if you are really dedicated for your dream if you are really passionate for your work none of the excuses can ever stop you just move on with small small steps and don't worry about the obstacles and the best thing about sir is sir is very down to earth for the students he el always guide as the way he can sir has done bachelor of physiotherapy from ms university baroda sir is phd in sports medicine and anatomy of body movement and dance from bombay university sir is doctor uh, done the doctor of physiotherapy from nums spain sir is the head of the department physiotherapy and sports medicine and rehabilitation center at nanavati super specialty hospital mumbai sir is the chairman of international affairs in indian association of physiotherapists sir is the principal of nim and mims university sir has served the indian cricket team as a sports physio for 10 years which is i can imagine it's not a short period it's very uh, much working dedication of the sir that he stayed there for such a long period of time sir has worked as researcher at bombay hospital sir has presented papers on knee mobility back ache hammer toe for frozen shoulder setup of physiotherapy and rehabilitation center in bhuj gujarat for the earthquake victims so is the examiner and lecturer for students of master of fine arts in dance in bombay university so is phd guide at various universities in india so is the lecturer on disaster management along holding the rural physiotherapy camps so has got various awards i am just focusing on the some lifetime achievement award by indian association of physiotherapy in 2004 he has got the best citizen indian award 2011 he has got the best physiotherapist award in india from maths cap in 2014 thank you so much sir for accepting our invitation and giving your precious time for from your busy schedule for this session on the topic brain mapping and physiotherapy in india thank you so much sir EXRX India team welcomes uh, Dr. Ali Irani sir and all the Zoom meeting and uh, fitness and the YouTube uh, sorry fitness and rehab India YouTube channel viewers and I wish all my respected school teachers college teachers professors resource persons and all the friends in the field of teaching a very happy Teachers Day now I welcome our resource person Professor Dr. Ali Irani sir please sir. Please share your screen, screen and comment the session. Sir, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah. Ali Rani, sir, can you hear I'm, us? I'm just sharing the screen. Yes. Am I there? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, you are audible, and the video is also clear. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you, Dr. Chandramohan, Rupesh, Dono, all the organizing committee of EXRX, and a brilliant work, wonderful work. And thank you, Chandramohan, for your kind words. Yes, uh, only my only problem is I I can never refuse a student. Uh, thank you, Ria, for your kind words. When Ria approached me and she was messaging on Instagram. asking me and said she's presenting but anyhow i get very early morning 
so it was a no problem uh, to and i wanted to because she had said in such a way i could not refuse i said okay i will be there and i knew it will surprise many and when chandramohan asked uh, her i was very sure that there was a big question mark for him and thank you dr chandramohan nice of you anybody who is doing anything from the profession it's a great thing being done whether some appreciate and some may not but keep doing your good work so one reaps whatever one sows you have done a wonderful work in this pandemic and uh, there are uh, messages coming from all over the world from physiotherapists about your webinar and i hope a uh, world record is created and your dreams come true so on this topic i am very thankful to you all for calling me to be part of this world record and present my uh, two topics which the first one is not i am the first physiotherapist to do brain mapping in india or the world you can say <clears throat> uh with lot of last 8 years i have been working on this brain mapping so we have succeeded a lot which i want uh, to share it with all the physiotherapists and what a better platform than this where we are going to uh, be part of the world record brain mapping will be one of your topic in the world record that you create once again thank you all the organizers you all have been lovely and my dear listeners all the physios all the teachers wishing all of you all a have very very happy teachers day and may god give all of you all a healing hand may all of the physios have a healing hand and uh, my dream is to see physiotherapists as the best profession in the world and we are reaching towards it <clears throat> just to say the number of presentations in the world journals which today it is there it is physiotherapy we have overtaken we have overtaken the medical field so our physios are showing maximum research is being done because the thirst that we have to learn more is keeps us going and this webinar crossing 225 itself is a proof that yes even online we are leading than all the other professions that are there so i believe strongly that uh, we come to this world only once because there is no proof that we come again or we were again here this time we are now in this world and we don't know whether we will come back again so we should do our best because we are not going to pass this route again uh so my topic today is brain mapping in physiotherapy how do we use it this is how our brain looks uh just on a lighter side to explain you what you see on your left is a male brain usually they do one thing at a time they go to the box enter the box finish that work come out go to the next box or you can call it the cubicle but what is on the right is a female brain they are very good in multitasking they can do three four things five things at one time they can be sitting in the class now listening to the lecture they will be talking to the chatting with the other friend on the mobile and they are also watching tv the third thing so multitasking can be done only by them so this is a differentiation of two brains male and female so if i have to divide the left and right left usually has to do with logic language analysis maths comes on the left side and right deals with the rhythm uh, imagination of pictures dimensions what yeah uh, what what we design and create it's a creative side and analytic side is the left creative is the right again to see the physiology of brain so tiny electrochemical impulses of varied frequencies which are measured in hertz can be called cycle per second so any moment which is per second how many cycle it goes is measured in hertz registered as eeg electro right so what we see in eeg this was a machine that big right when you had to go for an eeg now what you see if you see inside the brain this is how it is caught registered and what you see down is what we see in the report form so i have still make it easier for physiotherapists how to see it now brain consists 20 billion neuron which generates electrical impulses regularly throughout right 
Now, this combination of electric activity is called brain wave pattern, and it's cyclic wave like in nature. Right? I'm going to show you on video also how it is measured and how it looks. This is measured and analyzed through the electroencephalography gram, which is EEG. Brain waves can be measured as a frequency of cycle per second. So we are going to, as far as uh, we are going to label it, it's going to be in hertz. Right? Measurement will be in hertz. I've given you the breakup, how we reach the hertz. Uh, small portable EGs are available, what you can see on the side of the person lying supine or in the hand of the other person on the right side, in the, in the hand. And uh, it can, the electrodes are on the forehead, just uh, three electrodes can stick to your forehead, can be taped through Velcro on the forehead. And it has got two channels, portable EEG allows simple visual analysis of a sportsman's brain activity. We started it on sportsman first, but now we are doing it for neuro and other patients also. So to understand, you require a portable EEG, you require an electrode, and through Bluetooth, we give it a system to the Apple laptop. There's a software there, which registers and converts them into Hertz. So first let us divide. The brain will have, your brain can move into this direction. If the hertz is less than four, you are in delta, means you're almost asleep. And four to seven, you're semi-conscious. You're just uh, getting up and it's called theta. And between eight and 12 is alpha, which is one of the best zone. You are focused, alert. The best things happening to you is living alpha. And better you start, see the frequency. I just want you to appreciate the frequency. When it is below four hertz, you are calm and you are sleeping. Four and seven, you are just trying to get up. And alpha is where you are at the peak. Now, 13 to 28, the frequency is too much. Means there are too many thoughts in your brain. You are not doing one thing, but many. And gamma is the worst, it's 29 to 40 hertz. You know, so haywire, multiple things happening to you. Uh, you are not focused. In short, you are not focused. You think uh, your brain is uh, catching up too many things or registering too many things. This is a simple way to explain you. So your brain can mean delta, theta, alpha, beta, or gamma. We have created zones. So there are five zones in the brain. And that zone depends on how much hertz your brain is working on. <coughs> this is how it is recorded. And uh, you will see on your left, uh, delta, theta, alpha, beta. Beta is, uh, uh, again, beta is divided into three parts, you know. It's uh, beta low, beta medium, and beta high, and then comes the gamma. So you could combine beta and gamma, almost medium, beta medium, and gamma as one, because the responses of the patients are same. <clears throat> this is how graphically. See, when, when the hertz, when the combination average of hertz uh, through software looks like a mushroom. So that's an average. What you are seeing, the mushrooms are an average of number of hertz to make it easier for a physiotherapist to understand. So now again, get back to the left. If you are seeing we are in Delta, there are not too many waves. And then in coming to uh, even Alpha, not too many waves, but you are seeing a lot on Beta and Gamma. Look at them. So graphically, graphically this mushroom seen graphic presented represents a dominant or the highest amplitude one, which is an average of a brain signal. The left, and the right channel allowed demonstration of the brain wave coherence. There's the same pattern of the brain wave to the left and the right side of the brain. So brain left and right have the same thing. All will be having, uh, all will be having del uh, delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma. Both sides the same. It depends, but you can be in uh, gamma and then you can be in beta in on the left and right side. It all depends who's thinking what because I've given initially. Say what are the roles? What is the left brain doing and what is the right brain doing? Usually, it comes to an understanding when you are focused. So if both are on alpha, I'll be showing it. See the behavior of a person. And uh, I hope this, uh, yes, the video will work now. And this is when we are doing the brain mapping. This is the pattern that we are getting, right? So Lord, we are here, we are seeing Lord of uh, thetas and Lord of alphas. Very minimum gamma. See, the mushrooms on the right extreme is gamma. So this person, when we were doing 
is focusing or is wide alert, wants to know what is happening, right? So the bad thoughts or confusion is not there. Even if there is confusion, it's on the right side of the brain, the mushrooms that are coming, right? Uh, let me go back, yeah. So, <clears throat> okay. Now, uh, I did speak to you about uh, a slide before, before the video. Okay, we have delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma. So let us see what, what are the characteristic, characteristics of these uh, zones. Uh, so delta, you can say, is instinct, survival, deep sleep, and you can go in coma also, you are in delta, right? So survival, you are, you are away, you are uh, not dead, you are uh, alive, right? But you are in deep sleep. Theta gets you the emotion, the feeling, the trance, Right? You could be dreaming that time also, the drives and the dreams. The dreams comes in theta. So if you're dreaming and we are doing a brain mapping, uh, the zone, the frequency, the hertz will be in theta. Now alpha, which is the main 7 to or 8 to 12 that we call it, you are fully conscious. You are aware of your body. You are knowing what you are doing. You have integration of your feelings. You, what, what you say and what you do should match. And it is during healing healing. You are in your peak performance in alpha. Right? All the sportsmen, when they have performed well, we ask them to imagine they have been in alpha. And when they have not performed well, they were either in beta or uh, they were in gamma. Now, beta has concentration, uh, mental activity, which is a little more than uh, alpha. Excitement, stress, anxiety, fear, and rage starts trading in. Perception and there is tension involved. Now, gamma is the waking state in support with the waves of beta. So, the other end of beta and gamma combined are not, uh, uh, we should not be in, right? And when should be in, you know, when we fear, when you want to run, we have fear of our life, things all will be beta and gamma. So, just a slide uh, of, uh, uh, right? If those who are meditating, in meditation, you come into alpha. So I always have a saying, when you pray, you are talking to God, but when you are meditating, God is talking to you, right? It's a good, nice flow if you see. This is, I've converted into a slide to make uh, the students understand a little more how your uh, brain mapping will be or what would be the chart going through if you are really uh, enjoying or you are in victory or you're very, very happy. We have done it on 1,000 students. And we asked them, uh, we just told them to imagine they are with their friends and they are enjoying. They were all in alpha. But as soon as we said about exams, they all went in gamma or they went on uh, higher side of beta. So, you know, that stress, you cannot take you straight, go in gamma. That was the whole idea. Maybe the pharmaceuticals today, one day, knowing this, uh, the way we are doing the brain mapping, they will come out with the medicine. When you take one tablet or capsule, you will go in uh, alpha zone. Alpha is a zone of living. We need to live on that zone, right? So if you are again seeing this uh, more accurate, we are coming to theta, right? Again, more towards alpha. And that's the exact alpha. See the averages of the mushrooms. So clearly, so prominent. You are alert but relaxed, right? And it is very, very common in uh, sportsmen performing well, very, very important. It's very common in sportsmen when they are performing well. If they have hit a century, they have hit a goal, they have bowled very well. Anything that they have done, uh, you will find out they, uh, they were in alpha zone. So we have asked sportsmen when they uh, think of a performance that you have done very well, say straight go in alpha zone. But we tell them think of a performance when you have, you have played horrible, you have not played well. Uh, that time they heard straight go into a gamma zone. And uh, similarly, when we had done on actors and actresses, when I asked them the best performance they had in a movie, they were in gamma zone. And the worst they have had, they were still in gamma zone. Because here the reasoning of an actor being doing performing well and not performing well remains gamma zone. Why? Because they are directed. They are directed towards doing scene. It is not their own. The director tells them, this is how you will do. So when they do it, because the stress behind the mind is there, 
that they have to do as the director had told them. So when you are directed to do something, you are definitely going to fall into beta or uh, gamma zone. <laughs> Dominant rhythm when awake, alert, conscious. So when you are getting up, two thoughts are there. Uh, okay, what you want to do, where you have to go, are you getting late? So you see, the thoughts are not one. There are too many things. You know, it's associated with strong, excited emotion. It can be fear, rage, anxiety, attention, concentration, anticipation, all what you are seeing. This is how we get up. This is how our brain is working. So, gamma zones, again, as I said, too many thoughts, not favorable to concentrate because you can't concentrate on one thing. You have too many things you're thinking about. So anxiety and overload of thoughts in your mind can lead to taking you to gamma zone. So let us again understand the uh, characteristic which I have said again. So as you know a little more about uh, the zones, so delta, theta, alpha, beta, gamma. So again, I, you have to only know the two ones, alpha, your conscious, awareness of the body, integration of inner, and it's, it, we put the patient in healing, uh, in uh, alpha zone and treat. The treatments are better, the healings are better. So that's the idea of what we are using for neurological conditions now. And gamma, stress, tension, anxiety, excitement. So either we wait for the pharmacy people to come out with a medicine that will put us on uh, uh, alpha zone, or... Uh, if you know how to meditate, go and do a classes on meditation. Meditation definitely gets you in alpha zone. And there are certain, uh, I won't say music, certain vibration of sounds. You know, blowing off shank. When you're blowing a shank, uh, we have seen that soothing uh, noise, if you're concentrating of a shank or you are, you are blowing the shank, you do go in alpha zone. So it's very important what will take you to the alpha zone. <coughs> Uh, in childhood, there's an increase theta and delta because they have a lot of imagination and inability, inability to focus. A child can't focus on something. There are one after another things come. So we will say that a child uh, in childhood, you are more into theta and delta zone. Adulthood gets you alpha wave increases, the theta and delta wave decreases as you are growing because you start focusing and you know what you want. And in old age, decrease in alpha and increase in theta and delta because you start thinking why I can't walk, why I can't do this. Then you are taking medication for a lot of things. And by that time, you know that you are diabetic or you are hypertension or your heart is not working well or your kidney is not proper. So all that takes away alpha zone from you. And again, you are back to theta and delta inability to focus. So just understand as we age from a kid to normal adulthood and then we go down, face down, it's because we cannot focus, we cannot think. So that's why meditation, yoga helps a lot and it can always allow you to be in alpha zone if you use the right time to learn good meditation. Uh, now what happens about uh, sportsmen, I have said, when they are winning, they are more into alpha state. And when they're not performing well, they are into better, better when I say the uh, higher up or better, going up to 30 hertz. So the human brain responds to loading. or We have a system of audio, which is vibration sound. It's monooral when you can put it in your ear. And we have tried person who are on uh, gamma zone. Let's make them listen it for 15 to 20 minutes. It's an echo sound. It's echo. It's not music. It's an echo. So when they are looking, when you're listening to this echo within 15, 20 minutes and the brain mapping is on, they start going towards uh, alpha zone. So you can be brought into alpha zone. So when we succeed to get the right beat, the right echo, the right sound, uh, I feel our doorbells will become uh, such that when you ring the doorbell, you will automatically go into alpha zone. Our phone bell, when it rings, we would love to, when the phone rings, to listen for some time to go into alpha zone. So yes, uh, science will progress and our ideas will be taken to how to use this uh, uh, different voices, echoes or sound to put a human being into alpha zone because we will be proving very soon again to you that alpha is the zone of living. So what is alpha technology? They are a medical treatment. I said one of the way it is to listen to the frequencies or noise or doing meditation in a simple way. So sports physiotherapists can play an important role today, not only in preventing injuries, but for a, to a sportsman, treat him, train him, and also preparing for the best performances by getting him or her 
into alpha uh, state zone before and during the game and also to relax after the game. So it was uh, uh, still being used in sports. Uh, and this is a simpler way I've written it. Uh, how you are sleeping, then peak performance comes in alpha, the worst performance comes in beta and gamma. And it is common in both the sides, whether on your left brain or right brain. So graphically, this mushroom represents the dominant highest amplitude wave signals, what I said earlier. Now look at it. It's a whole a mixed posture, more towards uh, beta and gamma. But we want this. Right? So we want brain wave. So what you see below down is how EEG will look. So I'm showing you all the pattern. The EEG will look like this. And what you're seeing about is our brain mapping to make it easier uh, through portable uh, EEG. You, you can, there's a software which converts it into mushrooms. So you want an average. For us, it's important which zone the patient is. Right? We don't want to go in details of uh, a neurologist's uh, details. What they want to know more is what is below and they read the hertz, what to say about it. For us, uh, if you're in alpha zone, it's healing, positive thinking, awareness, enhanced focus. So you are more than required to be focused on playing or whatever you have been doing. Now, coming to say about uh, beta zone, it's high complex men uh, mental functioning seen in anxiety and hypertension. So see the wave down again, the EEG will show something like this. And uh, coming to gamma zone, again, it is a little more than beta. Too many thoughts seen in anxiety, person cannot focus. So everything moved towards uh, right side is uh, uh, it's beta and gamma zone. And you see the EEG down, right? So too many hertz. So it's almost 30 to 42 uh, hertz per second, right? So the thought works in that direction. Uh, so I want you to understand why we did on sportsmen because sports is, means competition. Without competition, it's not sports. But because it is competition, there is always a constant uh, pressure on the sportsman. And there's always a fear of failure. So what will happen if I fail? My advertisements will go away. Nobody will ask for me. The contract will become less or they will take me out of the team. So all the contracts get cancelled. So peak performance is required for excellence in competition. That's why... Brain mapping became very, very important as far as uh, uh, sports medicine was concerned or a sportsman was concerned. So uh, just a few slides to tell you uh, how a normal state, this is randomly, it's not a sportsman. You've just taken a brain mapping on a normal person. This is how it is. It can be everything. The person could be suddenly focusing the right side, uh, could be just thinking of uh, being in uh, alpha, Right, and the left side is everything from delta to theta to alpha, beta, and gamma. And you see the right side of the same, what you're seeing the averages, just to tell you how it's going to look when you're doing a normal person without telling him anything. You have not told anything. So the next, uh, oh, yeah, it will work. Now, uh, coming, just looking at the alpha zone. Uh, we are doing on a patient and a patient is in alpha zone, whether the patient had done meditation or the patient had done. See, the right side is empty. Your uh, beta are gamma are plain, nothing. So all the mushrooms that you fall is an average of uh, the hertz, combined hertz, which is coming and they are all into alpha. Right, so no beta, no gamma, so you know that the patient is uh, concentrating, and of course, if the patient is walking and can talk to you, so the patient is not in delta zone or theta zone, so it's a pure alpha what you are seeing here. Right, I'll let it end. I will show you the next slide again. Yeah, all this what you are seeing is to do with alpha zone. Now, uh, the brain wave pattern of various sportsmen was studied, and it is shown that alpha zone, which is 8 to 10 hertz per second, they have always been in peak performance and performed very well. So, a good player in peak performance is when you ask them to think or imagining that, that they are playing, they'll be in alpha zone. And when a sportsman did not perform well, the brain wave showed high activity in beta 
or gamma or in both the high activity in beta gamma is uh, uh, when, a, when a sportsman is not performing well have or has not performed it's an imagination you just put the electrode and ask the sportsman to imagine the best game they have played or the worst game they have played this is the pattern that you are going to see so physiotherapists today not only prevent or treat injuries but we can prepare the sportsman to be in alpha state of his or her best performance. So how to put the sportsman back into alpha zone becomes very soon it will be responsibility of a physiotherapist. Now, this is when we saw of an injured sportsman. See the mixed brain patterns, beta and gamma, prominent, right? The injured sportsman. So they want to hide you. So in short, a, a sportsman cannot hide injuries. So if you do a brain mapping, no matter whatever thing, a, a tongue can lie, but a brain cannot. So the brain will catch you up if the, the sportsman is injured. So this is the what I was talking about in audio. It's an echo of sounds. It is not music. It's not high beats. Right? So uh, this is a small uh, instrument that we have. We charge it and it plays for 15 to 20 minutes, you can play it, it goes off on its own. And this definitely brings the person into alpha zone. We're still working. The second thing is meditation. Meditation also gets you back into alpha zone. So studies have shown that alpha state, uh, what are the, if you know how to give alpha therapy or bringing the sportsman into alpha zone, it enhances healing, it enhances healing, enhances concentration and uh, focus to get back to the game. So if they are injured, you can get them back to the game more early if you are treating them in the alpha zone. This is a case study of uh, Chris Wright, those who know him, he was a cricketer. This study was done uh, in the UK. He was, an opener, he was an opening bowler of Essex, start of almost eight years back when we started doing brain mapping. So Chris Brain stayed before listening to Alpha Therapy. So nothing done, a normal, he comes and we have want to do a brain mapping on him. So see the mushroom spread all over, right? And Chris Wright, a brain wave after the Alpha session. So we spoke to him, what are all the zones, uh, told him what to do. And we could get him into listening to some echo sounds, uh, talking to him, a little bit of uh, meditation that he could concentrate. Now, in the first week, uh, he took four wickets for 32, right? And second week, he took three, he gave three runs and three wickets, three for three. And third week of continuing with it was uh, two wickets for 40 runs, but Essex won the cup. And again, the fourth week, by the end of one month, he had taken six wickets for 22 runs, and that was his career best. Uh, just uh, using alpha therapy or making the sportsman conscious about... Uh, uh, alpha therapy or conscious about brain mapping. So peak performance requires a special state of intense concentration, which is alpha activity. That's alpha zone, said Alman in 1992. But uh, after 1992, we didn't know how to reach it or how to go about with it till we found out a portable EEG. So a physiotherapist today does not treat only a patient from outside. We can enter the brain and treat uh, patients. This is what we all should look for, right? A sportsman in peak performance, right? Alpha zone. So brain mapping is going to be the next generation food for thought for physiotherapists. So I'm happy that I, no doubt, I started with sports in India as a physiotherapist. And uh, hopefully before I retire, before I finish, call it a day, I will see that brain mapping is one of the tools where the physiotherapists will use all over the world. Uh, to understand the sportsmen or the patients better. This I picked up from Holy Quran. He who heals one of my human beings has healed my mankind. And we are into healing profession. So the best part about it is we are into healing profession. So today being a teacher's day also, I can only pray that uh, may God give all of you all, all the physios, a healing hand. We are here to heal and God gives us a return. See, it's in multiple God doesn't say if you heal one of my human beings, you have, I will consider it as two. God considers it as infinite. Thank you. 
Any question on this or I can come on the next one? Chandra Mohan. Sir, uh, we can finish, then we will go for the question and answer session at the end, sir. That will be fine. Great. I'm going to the next one. Yes, sir. Please, sir. Yeah, second one. Uh, thank you for your patience, everybody. Uh, just for all the students and physiotherapists uh, uh, to know more about our profession, because uh, this is a platform for all the physiotherapy students. So I want uh, the students today to know what all we have achieved and what are we, what is a physiotherapist. So I very bravely say that physiotherapy was not born. It existed. And I've got reasons for it. Because 2,500 years ago, benefit of physiotherapy was realized. That is 460 before Christ, BC. Hector used hydrotherapy. It's still being used. The aqua therapy is becoming famous. When I was a student, ultrasound was given underwater. Till today, I say the best result of ultrasound, if you want, give it underwater. So any part can, that can be dipped into water and you can give ultrasound underwater, the result will be fantastic. And hypocrite advocate massage, but today we call it kneading, mobilization, manipulation. Uh, we have given so many names to it, but actual it is massage with better names, right? So much before medicine, physiotherapy was being used by the world. So what was the history of physiotherapy? The earliest document found about physical therapy, right, is... Uh, way back in 18, where uh, we were also called Chartered, uh, Ch uh, Chartered Society of Physiotherapy was formed in England, right? So we are, sorry. right, coming to next. Yeah. So let's go to the timeline. 1914, during the World War I, we were also called Reconstruction Aids. You know, we were not called physiotherapy, we were called Reconstruction Aids. Then in 40, the PNF technique came. In 50, the NED technique came. In 60, all the manual therapy came from Australia and New Zealand. 1980 was the explosion of all the equipment, diatomy, ultrasound, laser. And also in 1980s, the MPT, the people thought that physiotherapy is not enough. BPT, bachelor, we should have a post-graduation. And in 80s, the post-graduation started. But in 1990, physiotherapy proved its importance in sports. By the time in 87, I was with the Indian cricket team and the importance they came to know. And uh, we were part of disaster management. Anywhere, earthquake or anything, physiotherapists proved themselves what they could do. We were part of so many community uh, uh, reaching to the rural India. We were part of schools, going and training people in school and ergonomics. So we really established ourselves, it was in 1990. So uh, what is the definition of physiotherapy? So I want the students to know, right? It's a system of medicine where physical agents like heat, cold, light, water, electricity, and exercise, including mobilization and manipulation, are used as treatment modalities which have diagnostic, prognostic, preventive, and rehabilitative dimension in treating of diseases, disorders, or disability. It's everything other than using medicine, using drugs. So physiotherapy is use all these modalities of light, water, electricity, exercise, whatever you can, but no to giving medicine. So let's find out the growth of physiotherapy in India. 1952, the first physiotherapy department came in KM Hospital, GS Medical College, Mumbai. And uh, the second one was in Vellore, third was in Chennai. 
And the first degree college came in MS University, Baroda by WHO, which was giving bachelor in physiotherapy. And I happened to be from uh, this university. I finished it in 1984 from MS University. Uh, but today we have almost 250 colleges giving bachelor of physiotherapy four and a half years and almost 82 colleges giving master's degree with various specialization and 15 universities giving PhD program in all the subjects. So Indian Association of Physiotherapists. We are member of World Physiotherapy. See, World Physiotherapy earlier was called WCPT, World Confederation of Physical Therapists. So the word physical therapist has to be taken away. So they changed. Uh, we were last year in Geneva in the WCPT conference. There it was announced that they will be called as WP, which is World Physiotherapy. So we are a member of World Physiotherapy since 1967. So almost 4,000 physiotherapy graduates in India register and become member of IEP every year. And today we have more than 60,000 members, again, more than 80% of them being females. Delhi, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Haryana have an independent physiotherapy state council. Right? Hopefully, we will have a central physiotherapy council also very soon. <clears throat> what is happening across the globe? Why, why everybody wants Indian physio, Indian physio? The reason being, okay, UK, Canada, Sri Lanka, all of these countries, if you see, they have only a four years program. And USA has a three years program called DPT, Doctorate in Physical Therapy. That means you can be a graduate in any health science. You can be a graduate in any health science uh, subject or degree and go for DPT three years. So finally, they will, be, they will be working on clinical side and theory side about physiotherapy only three years. Whereas, whereas we are working, uh, we are working almost four and a half years. And then we have MPT, which is two years. So we are much more qualified than them as far as uh, seeing patients are concerned. So India, four and a half years, two years, and PhD, more than three years, minimum three years. So that's how we are in demand. More than 7,000 physiotherapists of India are in USA and Canada today. Right? More than 1,000 in UK, at least 500 in Australia and New Zealand. So we are all over the world. And uh, because uh, our career, our syllabus is much better than the rest of the world. <clears throat> I said WCPT changed to World Physiotherapy. Now, World Physiotherapy has 122 countries as its members, collectively representing four and a half lakh phys uh, physical therapists in the world. Japan has almost one lakh and uh, China has almost 70,000. India has almost 60,000. So if... Uh, if uh, Japan, China, and India uh, uh, put together, we are uh, more than 70% of the world physiotherapists. Together, we are much more a larger section than all over the world. So what does WHO say is about physical therapy? So I want the students not to worry or think too much about it. So WHO states that as has classified physiotherapy as an independent practice. And it is out of medical, paramedical stream, right? So we can assess, we can plan, we can implement, we can rehabilitate. Anything that we want to do, we are independent. And that is what WHO is saying, right? Now, how our country takes it? So most of the council, which we have in Maharashtra, Delhi, Gujarat, uh, we, all of them have said we have an independent practice. We can uh, see the patient directly. And we can direct the patient to other specialities. Like in my hospital, Nanavati Hospital, I can admit a patient and I can refer to an orthopedic surgeon or a neurologist to come and see my patient, right? So a century ago, physiotherapists were known for its role in orthopedic disorders. But with promotion of evidence-based practice, we have broken all barriers and explored various fields of healthcare, proving that physiotherapy today has no boundaries. And really, uh, it has no boundaries. Every year, a new specialty, we enter, we enter a new specialty in physiotherapy. So if you see, we are in prenatal and postnatal exercises, right? So studies have already shown that a woman taking antenatal exercises classes are predisposed to normal delivery. They will always do a normal delivery. So prenatal exercise in our department, in our hospital is very common. The gynecologists refer the patient when we start uh, teaching them or having classes of prenatal exercises. Similarly, there is uh, postnatal after the delivery. 
we know how to again strengthen all the abdominal muscles and get the, the patient into uh, full mobility and exercises that they can do. Uh, the physiotherapists always also manage labor pain by administering breathing techniques and use of tense. We are into pediatrics, whether it is autism, cerebral palsy, right? We don't find polio anymore, but the whole idea is to make the kids uh, independent to do whatever they can. We are into orthopedic conditions, backache, shoulder problem, neck problem, right? So we can treat them and get them back to normal. We are into manual therapy. We treat all musculoskeletal disorders using mobilization and manipulation. We are into hemorrhoid technique. It was invented in 1986, right? So it's more like uh, going to the point and uh, what you are doing manually in uh, manual therapy with your thumb. Uh, so we have prepared this gadgets. So it makes it easier for you to treat the patient. We came into sports medicine in 1987. The best part about physiotherapy is in whichever, in whichever uh, specialty we entered, we conquered. It's not that we came back. We entered, conquered, and we remained there. And it went on spreading. So there is no team today in India which does not have a physiotherapy attached to them. And that picture shows of 1987. Uh, in film shoots, all Bollywood things became very common that we had to, they wanted us to be there when they're doing any, most of the heroes nowadays want to do their own stunts. They want to jump, they want to do things which they want to do on their own. They don't want duplicates because they want people whistling when they are doing it. Otherwise, they always felt the duplicates are doing, so they were not enjoying. And all the reality shows today have physiotherapists with them. So today, a physiotherapist's greatest challenge is not just treating the disorders, but identifying and preventing the cause of disorder. We are also into prevention. It's not only that we'll give ultrasound and that, I mean, but we know now what all one can go through and we can prevent. We are into neurology. Neurology has subdivided into adult neurology and pediatric neurology. So there are a lot of uh, um, treatment that we can give uh, to the patient of a neurological, adult neurological condition. And similarly, the earlier picture showed of the pediatric neurology. Right? So it is a physiotherapy is important in neuroplasticity to restore balance, flexibility, coordination, muscle strength for activities of daily living. Our main aim is to allow or make the patient do the activities of daily living. And that also allows them the risk of falling. We are into chest medicine. 22 years back, our uh, department started night duties. We wanted to treat patient. Patient is a patient. Patient requires physiotherapy at night also. Right. So positioning, airway clearance, suctioning to prevent infection and lung collapse, very important. Right. So early weaning and early mobilization helps to get the patient better much faster. So in short, physiotherapy has become 24-7. We are needed even if, uh, our department physiotherapy works on holidays. That is Sunday and any holiday. We work at night. Three of our staff work at night duty. So we see patients even at night, especially now, pandemic, we are over busy. Neonatal and intensive care unit. Uh, just statistics shows that most of the infants die at night because they cannot express, they choke. So every four hourly suctioning uh, has brought down the rate almost to zero because every four hours we give them a suctioning. So and uh, in neonatal intensive care unit, if the preterm infants, it's very difficult for them sucking. So early intervention and oromotor stimulation with your fingers, what you are seeing the staff doing it, uh, stimulation techniques has shown significant improvement in the infant's neuromotor behavior. So a lot of work can be done in neonatal still, and we are doing it in our hospital. Cardiac rehabilitation. One should not wait to get a heart attack and then go for cardiac rehabilitation. So a time has come that now uh, many people just walk in and they want to prevent uh, getting any cardiac disorders. So uh, we have cardiac rehabilitation. Science is going to increase the longevity of a human being. Science will increase the longevity of a human being. Please, I'm again saying science will increase the age. We will all cross 100. But what is important to be able to do our activities of daily living only physiotherapists can help you in activities of daily living, right? 
So we we are we are improving the balance, flexibility, coordination, and muscle strength, which gets weaker with age, so that a person can do activities of daily living and uh, balancing. Especially, uh, it avoids the elderly people to fall. So in short, I say a, a physician will add years to the life, but it's a physiotherapist that will add life to the years. So the quality of living will come with physiotherapists. I've spoken on brain mapping. We are into brain mapping, I wanted to say. And uh, we are into rural rehabilitation. So dear physiotherapists, I want you all to know, 70% of Indians stay in rural area. And I think they also need physiotherapy. So what you see down there, there's a camp in Raipur, which we had done. And we go to all the orphanages and Adivasi areas around Mumbai. We travel up to 130 kilometers, 120 kilometers. We go up to Jalgaon, which is almost uh, 400 kilometers for us to treat and have camps. So the other college physiotherapists and other colleges learn. We do screening of eye test. We teach our physiotherapists, postgraduate and interns. I, uh, my interns should know screening of eyes. So how to screen an eye, whether the person, the school kid has to go. More than 15% of the school kids, if you go to primary kids, they need glasses. They don't even know that they need glasses. So we do a screening. So all can go to ophthalmic surgeon. So we do a screening and tell the teacher, to tell the parents to take them to a ophthalmologist. They need glasses. And see the lady down there, Adivasi, right, 80 plus. She also needs physiotherapy. So if you don't go to the rural area, we have not done justice to our profession. So once a month, my interns, my postgraduate students have to go to rural area to see them. Right? They also need treatment. We are into telemedicine. An Anamati Hospital is famous for its telemedicine. We have our own studio. We get linked to any of the rural area. We are linked to 53 African countries. Whatever they want to ask, uh, we go and demonstrate. See, from all the telemedicine consultancy, Telephysiotherapy is very famous <clears throat> because we don't come and give lectures only. We demonstrate. We take the patient up and show them what to treat them, how to treat that patient, and the world is watching. So telephysiotherapy, now it is easier because there is a WhatsApp video call, Telegram video call. There are so many video calls that you can do. If you are in a rural area, you can just make a call to your sir or your teacher and ask them, I've seen such a patient, what to do? It has become very easy. So we can treat rural. Don't say what we will go and do in the rural area. Physiotherapy is no more diathermy and ultrasound. It's your hand, your evaluation, and what technique you will use to get the patient better. We are into prevention and ergonomics. The more the calling centers, more the corporate offices, our patients have increased because all of them have a common problem. They have a neck problem, they have a, a wrist problem, elbow problem, shoulder problem, trapezitis, depending on the chair, seats, how they sit, or how long they sit has increased our patient. We have a very big role in that. <clears throat> Physiotherapy in school. Our biggest challenge today is, please again understand, we regularly go to all the rural area schools. More than 12% of the school children have scoliosis because the way they pick up the bag and how heavy it is. We are doing a study. One of my students is doing a PhD to find out how many kgs of weight a school child should carry. Will we use age-wise, weight-wise, weight-wise, or class-wise? All is going to be evaluated and will come to conclusion how we will decide how much weight a child should carry. We are into disaster management from the Gujarat earthquake to Kashmir earthquake. Uh, earlier, my teachers used to tell me Okay, whenever there is a disaster, the orthopedic surgeon will go, they will operate, and after six weeks, they will remove the plaster, and then our role will start. But physiotherapists proved we are required from the day one, hour one, minute one. Immediately, we are required to be there. This is the Buj earthquake on your right. We had made tents, and we were seeing patients. What you see on the left above is the hospital in Uri, Kashmir, when the earthquake came. See the position. When that was all broken, see the down one. We used to see patients in the tents. 
we treated, we gave physiotherapy in the tents. And what you see on the right down is that hospital was ready. We got back into the hospital and we had our physiotherapy department there. We have a very, very important role to play from day one. Hopefully one day I will be talking on disaster management uh, with Chandra Mohan again. We are into emergencies. Emergencies are two types, man-made and natural disaster. We can't. What we are into pandemic today, what you see, the whole globe is into pandemic. It's called natural disaster. Earthquake is a natural disaster. Landslides, floods, tsunami. It's not in a human means control. So it's a natural disaster. But there are man-made man disasters also. Terrorist attack, road traffic accidents, that bomb blast happening. Right? Physiotherapists have a role to play. So I'll go through a few slides to tell you all about it. Yes, COVID-19 is the pandemic which we are going through. I will speak to you slide what we can do there. <clears throat> we have reached Iran. Uh, uh, earthquake was on 26th uh, December morning, 7 o'clock Iran time. And uh, by 1.30 afternoon, I took the flight and evening, we were there. Our team was there and we were seeing patients. That's Udi. The next day morning, I was in Udi, Srinagar, and then to Udi. This is an Udi disaster. And we could save them. We could, but because of physiotherapists, do it. everybody does not require a surgery. You require a medical person to, to remove them. And how to bring them out without injuring them, that's the role of a physiotherapist initially. But of course, first end and dressing we can do, right? So see a lady operated, edge rodding done, but no physiotherapist to bed sore. So as soon as the physiotherapist came, we saved her. We can do all type of dressing. That's our physiotherapy center in Gujarat on the top two in the tents, right? You see rope and pulley, you see stimulation could have been given. We were seeing patients there, right? And left down is Kashmir. No place, so we were out in sun because it's very cold there. So whenever we saw sun, we would love to see patients in the sun. Yes, again, that's a, Uri is a LOC, line of control. You need permission of military to go there and treat patients. Yes, because we have treated patients there. Nebulization and steam was used because it was very cold. There's one thing, whenever there's a disaster, especially earthquake, the area is cold. It's during a cold season. And really, wherever I've visited, whenever I've gone for a disaster management, and I've seen that was a time that it was really cold. What does triage say WHO has a triage about us? Right. So if you see uh, the group-wise role of physiotherapists, during emergency, we have a role to play. We can play. During urgent, we have a role to play. Non-urgent, we have a role to play. Priority 2 and 3, we have a role to play. Except the person dies, we don't have a role to play. We can only call and inform the relatives or wherever we have to report that the patient has died. We have no role to play. But WHO has given a triage and it's found us as important as others to be doing what is required to be done. All physiotherapists should go under a training of CPR. Uh, Dr. Chandra Mohan, uh, if you can get one of the best speakers to speak on CPR for the students, it will help them at least online initially. So yes, sir, we have, sir. We have arranged for that. We have session for CPR Very good. on That's 7th good. September. Yes, we, we need all the physiotherapists to know CPR. So please attend the session on 7th. It will give you an idea. You can save lives. What all we can do in uh, road traffic accidents? You can take a mat of a car down below left. It's mat. Every car you can stop, they will help you. Take a mat, tie a rope or anything and stabilize the joint. You can use sticks to stabilize. You can use a pillow. Many cars will give you a pillow. And most of the trucks have the tapes. So just take the pillow, put it well on the joint and tape it till the person reaches for an x-ray in the hospital. Don't worsen it. See how you can immobilize it. Immobilization of the neck, joints, very important. Look at here. Most of the damages caused to spinal is because of Im not properly baby being improper transfers. So whether you can use a hand card, see the military people. Even military people don't know how to carry a person. 
Right? So neck injury is worse. Spinal cord injury worse. The way you pull out a person from the car for a debris, you 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 allow the spinal injury to worsen. <clears throat> I believe that impossible can also say I am possible. This is our patient from Kutch during earthquake. And this is after two years she came to meet us in Mumbai because she was walking and she already had a kid also. <clears throat> in COVID-19, screening of the patient for symptoms is very important. A physiotherapist can do it. We can also help in swap collection for sus suspected cases. Of course, positioning, proning, right? Then uh, positioning up for run for the O2 level saturation to be maintained. Our physiotherapists are in the wards treating the patient right, when they are admitted. And after they become negative, rehabilitation, right? So we work on the muscular and cardiovascular endurance. The most important part what the COVID patients go through are the, I will come to it about the lungs. This could be have every day we give it for higher immunity. I'm just going through a few slides about immunity. So whatever you see in the kitchen, whether it's turmeric, ginger, onion, they're all good immunity, honey, uh, vinegars, garlic, all this are high antibiotic for yourself and the left is for the liver. You should have lemon water, vitamin C, and then honey is very good for cold, detoxification, uh, tea, there are different type of tea, you can have it. Arthritis pain, these are the things that we are going to use, turmeric, ginger, see all these are available in the kitchen. Uh, so I say that 20 benefits of walking for 20 minutes a day, it's going to help you and you should know your exercise program to remain fit. We have a part to play in it. Now, I just want to explain to the students, why do we breathe? Why do we breathe? When we breathe, it's only because of that 20% or 20.8% uh, 20 oxygen. We breathe. Because the impure blood comes to the base of our lungs. To the base of our lungs, when we breathe, blood circulates, gets impure, comes to the base of the lungs. And you can see me. Say hello first. Hello. Yes. So impure blood comes to the base of the lung. So when you breathe, it 20% oxygen is taken by the blood, becomes pure, goes to the heart, heart pumps it all over the body. So the best air is only 20% oxygen. Mumbai maybe 18%. Go to hill station, maybe 22%. So we be to, aim to make our impure blood pure. That's why we breathe. But no food, fruit, mineral, liquid can provide oxygen in our body other than breathing. Right? So, maximum capacity of our lungs are 4.5 to 5 liters. Normally, people have vital capacity less than 2 liters. Females, less than 1.5 liters. We have not seen COVID patients having vital capacity of three and four liters. So most of the COVID patients have their vital capacity, which is less than 1.5 liter. Most of them admitted have less than one liter. So God has given us a lung for five liters air. Phil, I blame the government because there are no charges. We don't pay any taxes for breathing. The day government says you have to pay 1000 rupees for breathing in India, you will start taking deep breath. We'll take deep breaths to prove that you know, we will do our whatever we are paying, we should do that. Please check your vital capacity. There's a spirometer. I hope you all can see this. If I'm visible, if you all can see this a spirometer and you have to um, take a deep breath to it and you will come to know your vital capacity. Increase your vital capacity, especially during this pandemic, very important. There's a place in Mumbai, you have to pay 50 rupees if you go out to breathe. Early morning walkers is a place called, right, Joggers Park. You have to pay 50 rupees. So before it comes to your area that you have to pay for breathing, please breathe deeply. That's a spirometer, how it looks. See the girl, it's hardly two liters, right? It's a five liter spirometer. And you see the blue part, it's two liters. Right? It's, it's, you cannot, all, everybody, all Indians have less than two liters. 
to summarize about our profession, please, to summarize. I call physiotherapy is warm to tone. Physiotherapy is warm to tone. We have a role to play, prenatal exercise. See on your left, a pregnant woman. You can see the feet of the child, right? the kicking child. So till when physiotherapy is required, till you exist, we call it geriatrics. So physiotherapy can be given to a child before the child is born, until when, till a person exists. That's our role of physiotherapy. We have a vast, no specialty in India has that was seeing a patient, not even child, not being born, we are treating till a patient existing. Because all specialists have a limited role. If you have a cardiac problem, you'll go to a cardiologist. If you have a joint problem, you'll go to an orthopedic surgeon. But you are a physiotherapist seeing all the specialties. We are ultimate. That's a child in the fetus of the mother. Again, I say one who heals, one of my human beings has healed my mankind. So that's our role of physiotherapy. So I'll come back to the answer to come and put it in. So am I seen here? Yes, sir. Just a minute. I'm just coming out. So yes, sir. No problem. Am I seen now, Chandamon? Yes, sir. You are seen. Sir. Fine. I'm open to questions. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I think you are the right person to teach us physiotherapy, uh, history of physiotherapy, and how it is uh, taken uh, its uh, steps to uh, reach all the field of uh, branch of medicine. And thank you, sir. And also for brain mapping, really mind blowing session, sir came to know, many are messaging that thanks for arranging this topic and really I, we enjoyed your teaching, sir. And uh, for, uh, as you said that about CPR, Dr. Rajisha from St. John's Medical College, she is a physiotherapist, now presently working in COVID ICU. And she gave us the topic that she will be uh, doing CPR for the COVID patients. Uh, I think she will be presenting on 7. And also, sir, uh, before uh, we are we are having a small uh, program also just one minute program but before that i would like to go for question and answer session sir before all asking their questions i have two two questions sir this is normal out of topic hope you don't mind me asking you uh, so your name is ali irani so irani is a country do people represent their country or what is the story behind it we all would like to know. No, no. Because I told my friend Rupesh that it might be country's name. No, no, no. I'm born and brought up in Mumbai. But yes, my father had come from Iran before the Second World War. If you remember, India and Iran were neighbors. There was no Pakistan. So India was neighbor of Iran. So okay, people right. walked down. My father walked down to India and was working in India before the Second World War. So I was born and brought up in India and my father had an Indian passport. He never thought of going back. Okay, so nice to know that. Sir. He became famous. Uh, my father used to run a canteen in Nanavati Hospital. Where I'm working now, there's a canteen. I still go. I used to work there. After school, I used to go and work and help him. From 4 o'clock evening, 1.30 my school ended, go and do homework at home. Come and work. I worked as a waiter, as a dishwasher, everything I worked in the canteen. Even on the counter, I've grown up doing my 12th, uh, sitting in the canteen. And I still go. I have five of them still working. So once a month, I have lunch with them. So I used to work in that canteen. Yes, I'm not nice from a great this. family. And when I started working, my salary was 600 rupees per month. Per month. That was my least salary I've achieved. And the highest salary I've achieved is 1,75,000 rupees per one-day match. That was my fees. Yes, sir. Nice. Happy to know that, sir, actually. Uh, may know the secret of you being active even at this age. And uh, also how you are uh, so much down to earth person because 
when i was messaging sir i won't take three or three or four minutes just wanted to uh, speak to you uh, when shall i call you immediately you called me because mostly people expect the persons to call them but how you how come you uh, this is special character of you how come you are so down to earth i i think you should forgive and forget so why when you don't forgive anybody that stress remains on your head so i love forgiving i always believe in god i'm a strong believer the universe is run by somebody so they so we don't need to show people that you are good i think so god understands when you do good universe believes in energy so if you are giving positive energy it comes back to you if you grow rice you are not going to reap wheat you put a mango tree coconut won't come so put all goodness whatever you have to others so that goodness comes back to you today i see in a class 10 people not talking to each other right they don't even want to look at each other why why when see uh, this is a punishment which has come from god pandemic to us where he has challenged i can destroy you with a fever close down the whole world so who are we and second thing i was told by my teachers when a tree bears more fruit it should bow down so as time went on i went on bowing especially students will never expect so give them much more than your expectation be nice to them uh, if you remember uh, nelson mandela Yes, sir. South Africa. We were the first one to meet them. Indian team were the first people to meet them because they were close that country. So India was the first country to go and play uh, play cricket there. So during the Test match, a president of a country used to come to a cricket match, sit and watch cricket. So I used to offer him tea, coffee, sit with him and talk. So I told him, "Yes, sir. Why do you meet when you meet a person? There's a long stay. He holds your hand for long." so he say i meet people as if i will never meet them again so i give my time accordingly i i thinking i will never meet them again so that person should have a good impression about me and i have i met him number of times the amount of time he spent the way he spoke being president being world famous uh, getting a nobel prize everything down to earth maybe a lot of things in 92 1992 i took from Yes, be nice to everybody. We don't know whether you'll meet that person or not, whether you'll go to the country or not. So do your best, and it comes back to you. It comes back. Number of examples. Thank you, sir. Apart from apart from profession, you have taught us a lesson for our life. Thank you for teaching this, so yes. that uh, uh, all the participants also will learn this. Who whoever watching this video will also uh, will be uh, having a same thought that. Uh, meeting people is much important giving time to people is much important I before we want to chandramar yes. tell my students don't expect 10000 people blessing you only one patient blesses you your life will change because maybe that time god wants to listen to your patient so be nice to your patients you know we can't uh, shout scream them if we can't explain them if you're nice to them you know from the heart a blessing comes and that blessing takes you a long way Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And one final question from me: You have worked with our cricket team, Indian cricket team, for ten years. Uh, share something for uh, about your experience working as an Indian cricket team uh, physiotherapist, and also uh, tell our physiotherapy youngsters how to reach that height. Is there any way, especially we have to go by step by step, or uh, how to reach to the highest position as you went? see i will only advise the student uh, when you want to reach the height there are steps you have to climb the steps slowly everybody today when they ask me they want to straight become a physiotherapist of indian cricket right it's not like that we at, get attachment to a sports team near whether it's a club whether it's your city whether it's your state team start from a low level or then because of your being good and you can uh, deliver you will be known you will be picked up very fast right so most of the physiotherapists who have you are seeing with the team it's not that they have stayed come to the indian side when i came i feel uh, i was the one to introduce sports right i wanted to be a sport so there was no competition 
so I was there and uh, just imagine if I would have not performed well, that word physiotherapy is needed by sports would have gone away. Right? It would have gone away. But the way I worked with them, I proved that every team should have a physiotherapist. So after cricket, immediately the hockey team they quit. Immediately the football uh, came to it. And yes, offers were coming to me for for some time. I did football also for Air India team. It was just for the change of game. Most of the countries in Asia asked me. I said, no, if I've done India, I don't want to be a physiotherapist for any other country. Right? So uh, please, my request to the students is start. Start slowly. Go to a sports team, club team, state team, then Ranji Trophy team. Then there are women's team. Wherever, just start. Prove yourself. And automatically, you will be taken there. Where you want to hit, it's not suddenly, you're not. It's like climbing nine stories without going to the second, third story. You want first floor, you want to stay beyond the ninth floor, not possible. You have to gradually go to the second. So keep going to the next league. Then which one is your favorite side? Cricket, hockey or football then? You know what? In school, I've done, I've played football, I've played volleyball, I've played hockey for my school and college. I was captain of my college, Bowen's College team in football. Just last week, we were uh, talking on that topic. And uh, I landed in cricket, which I had not played. <laughs> uh, I, I remember nice I was doing my research in Bombay Hospital. And Hanuman Singh was the selector, was the chairman selection committee of cricket. Hanuman Singh was a good cricketer. God bless his soul, he's no more there now. So he told, he used to see a lot of sportsmen, seven o'clock in the morning, football, hockey, athletic, all were coming to Bombay Hospital to see me. You know, we had a whole sports section. So Hanuman Singh uh, saw his shoulder, I was seeing his knee, and he told me, You are in a wrong profession. You cannot be here. Indian team needs you. And when the time came, there were some 170 people who had applied for that post. 1987 World Cup. Okay. So, they called 25 for the interview, you know, sorting out the specialities. So, in 25, they have separated four. So, I was in four. Dr. Anand Joshi, myself, Dr. Kanan from South, and I, Dr. Raj Gopal from North. Then from four, we were made into two, another interview. And in that two, it was Dr. Anand Joshi and me. And... Uh, Anil Ambani was in charge of Reliance World Cup. He straight said, okay, take both. Why do it differ? Now, two, take both. But World Cup uh, rule said 14 players plus two. One could be a manager, could be a doctor, could be a physio. So, only two. So, naturally, the, co the coach was there. Man Singh was our coach. So, only one. So, between Anand Joshi, he could go or I could go. And we were good friends. So we went both for the final interview to BCCI office and uh, we were talking. So I was talking, I was taken in first. So I told him, okay, see, I'm a physiotherapist, but Dr. Anand Joshi has come from US. Polly Umrigar was interviewing us, Indian cricketer. So I said, uh, he's from US, so he will have a better knowledge. So he could go. So why to go and praise myself? So I said, he could go, he is from US. So when he went in, and I saw him coming out just within a minute. He came out, so I thought, Chalo, he must have been selected. So, Polly Umrigar came out and he was screaming and shouting at us. Right? Because he went and inside said, I am a surgeon. I can only operate. But this guy can do a lot of things on the ground. <laughs> so, take him. So, that's how was the entry of mine for Indian cricket. And very difficult. When I joined in, nobody knew warming up, stretching. To put it into the mind, okay, we will warm up first, we will stretch, do exercise for better performance. And that it was a difficult time to take lectures for them first, explain them theoretically, then take them on the ground. Nice to know, sir. Nice to know. <laughs> you take us to 87. You should you are in students, students should know that sports very important. Yes, sir. Okay, so we will move on to question and answer session, sir. Yeah. And uh, well, we have your participants, if you have any questions, please you can ask uh, or write in your chat box. Those who are watching in Fitness and Rehab India YouTube channel, please write your queries in uh, uh, live chat. We will be reading your questions here. And there are many appreciations uh, from our participants, especially for uh, Dr. Ali Rani sir. And one from my, my own sister, she is watching in YouTube actually. And she's the founder of the channel. And uh, 
I would like to uh, tell a little story. Uh, she is a doctor working in the government sector now. Uh, and uh, COVID uh, pandemic situation, she is working. And uh, there is no signal in her area. That's why she is watching in YouTube. So I got the message in that room. Thanks, Duna, for forwarding the message. Uh, we, are, we belong to a small uh, village. So she is the first candidate who got uh, MBBS seat. Government seat. Okay. Uh, among 25 other villages. Okay. So people, you know, they don't send uh, girls to study in college. The two medical college, that's all. After hearing this, many of our villagers came to our home and uh, told that don't send the girl for the medical college. No, no, no. This is wrong. Mm. My father told that she is my daughter and I know what to do. And she is the first female in our uh, village and neighbor village who got the MBBS degree and looking at her now so many have joined uh, college those who are dropped out even uh, I have a friend who studied with me uh, for the fifth standard studied seventh standard with my younger brother and almost he was going to study with my sister next year that much he was give, kept on uh, paying but at last, he said that I will not be a classmate for your sister. So he, he passed and then he went to college. Like that, many girls took uh, law, uh, studying for uh, aeronautics, engineering, even people are trying for MBBS, many. She is that much inspiring. So I welcome her for the show. Actually, she is not in the Zoom meeting. I, I know that she is there. And... Uh, uh, now we are going for the question and answer session and after that there will be uh, releasing of our world record event invitation. I would like to uh, send invitation to Dr. Ali Irani through virtually as a first invitation to him after the question and answer session. So I request all to be present. Uh, I request Rupesh and Vairo yes, Sports Service to handle the question and answer session. Fine, sir. Uh, first question is from long back from Pooja Digra. As sir told, brain mapping, it, is it particularly restricted to sports population? No, I started with sports, but now we do it for neurological uh, patient. We do to all our patients to see whether the patient is in which zone the patient is. So we try to get the patient in alpha zone, though the treatment helps better. Yes, sir. Everything we use on all patients. Fine, sir. See, a tongue can lie. A brain cannot lie. So once you know the brain reading, it becomes much easier. So a person saying, no, it is not helping me, through brain mapping, we'll come to know whether it's helping him or her or not. Yes, sir. You can't hide injuries. The injuries patterns are known. Fine, sir. Any, the next question? Yeah. Any more questions, dear participants? Ma'am, anything from YouTube? YouTube? Only appreciations are there for some. And uh, yes. there is a request for another session. Sure, we will do. Now it will all go after. And Sir is always there for students. Yes, sir, please. I'm saying it will all go something. after the World Physiotherapy Day. I'm all packed. I yes, sir. Of not course, sir. Chandra Mohan for any of the session. He's, he's again <laughs> having some eight. But I'll be just an uh, observer. I, I approached you to take us one topic. When I was approaching Dr. Ali and he said, Sir, can you please take one topic for us? He said, No, I will take two topics. <laughs> uh, first, I was shocked why he's saying no. Then he said two topics. One is brain mapping. Spontaneously, he said. One is brain mapping. The next one is physiotherapy in India. Thank you, sir. <laughs> That's it. That's all. The reason is brain mapping is new to India. Yes, sir. And because it was all of students, I wanted them to know in what specialty they can go. Because nowadays, still students think they, they should know the, how to give diathermy and ultrasound. They have still okay. don't know the importance where all we can be. Very soon, every school will have a physiotherapist because of to avoid to give them a good posture, good vital capacity. If we don't go to schools, yoga therapists will take over the schools. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. 
yes And one more uh, question mr sir yeah from ms archana yadav who discovered brain mapping sir see eeg is a long from i had shown you many many studies have been coming i showed you the first equipment i would not know really the name who started but uh, with ecg the way they took the amplitudes of the heart for brain also it had been taken earlier and only idea was with time we got it uh, much you see it's a, it's a portable uh, maybe just like your mobile a little uh, thicker than your mobile is the eeg and the rest uh, software comes on your laptop we i've got two units i've got i use one only for sports person and other one i use for neurological condition i've got two units and many of my mpt students have done a study on it taken that as one of the parameters <laughs> the first student did the zones explained all the zones uh, on uh, for her thesis from bangalore student was from bangalore fine sir <clears throat> many thank you questions and uh, teachers dear wishes are in the chat box sir i i wish all the students uh, i can only say may god give you all a healing hand heal and let the blessing come your life will change take blessing of your patience makes a lot of difference yes sir sir here sir, brainly i got i have got some question yes, sir, sir actually new topic can we influence and healing through this mapping how can we master how much we can influence or how fast to influence healing see uh, it all depends how you are going to use it see uh, i have a big, my biggest threat for uh, brain mapping is uh, mumbai police they want me to use it they say you can find out whether the person is a terrorist or not whether the person has killed or not which i don't i hide it i say i don't have i don't do it now so it has an advantage it has a disadvantage i don't want to be a person proving who is a criminal but i want to use it on my patient i always give them the example you give a knife to a criminal he'll take a life but give a knife to a surgeon he will save a life the fault is not of the knife the one who uses it i want to use it for the benefit of the patient i i am not interested to use it to prove whether the crime has happened or not or whether that person is the murderer or not but it can you can the brain can catch the brain can catch it through the amplitudes because if i get 10 hardcore criminals from the jail and i do the brain mapping right and when i tell them only one question you have murdered so i want to only register and record that amplitudes and if any other person if that average is i know whether it is going to be in gamma alpha beta where and if that amplitude comes when you tell anybody i may just tell you you are a murderer but your amplitude won't there because you have not done when you have not done the amplitude see it's not the tongue the thought gives you the amplitudes so as soon as the murderer knows that you have murdered i know he start thinking that how he knows now what reason to give i have not but i have got the right amplitude registered so i can prove it he has so we are not into that i want to be patient only for patient there are many articles yes, on uh, over to why there are many articles on youtube there's a young boy tej who is an indian i started working with him first on brain mapping he's in uk then john is in australia there are a lot of youtubes and lot of materials if you google and find out uh, yes it's not new but you know we have i have brought it and compacted and made it in a way where i could explain the students and i've gathered all these things from my students who were working on it and they were doing their thesis so it's a combination of everything but there is a lot more which i cannot show to students i cannot i said i've done on 1000 young population school going children or college going children 11 12 onwards there's two question you are you are enjoying with your friends they go in alpha zone talk to them about exams beta or gamma zone so that proves it alpha is the stage of living we should live in alpha be happy be nice forgive everybody why you are bothered bhagavad gita says jo hona hai wo hokar hi rahega so what you what do you have come to change it's going to happen who not a single astrologer said about uh, pandemic and how long it will last 
right? I always laugh at a cartoon. There was a nice cartoon on WhatsApp. A guy is standing outside the astrologer's house with a slipper behind him. So he opens the door and he could hit him. God knows what all he had predicted for him. All. I've, yes, Bombay is full of it. Lot of prediction was done. But what? It came. And rather, I would say, pandemic conquered us. We could not do anything to pandemic still. We are still waiting for the uh, vaccine to come. I ask only one question. Which vaccine? Because COVID-19 has already taken 14 shapes. So you are making vaccine for which one? And what if by December COVID-20 comes? Yes. So immune, if you are if you fear somebody can enter your window, breaking your window and entering your house, you will grill it outside. You will put iron bars. Right? So I am saying I'm last six months in a COVID hospital. My Nanavati hospital is the best, biggest COVID hospital of Mumbai. Every day I have come, including Sunday, last six months. After returning from Chennai IAP conference, I came back to Mumbai on 8th of March. And since then, I'm attending Nanavati, seeing COVID patients. But I immune myself. I have to have a Naril Pani in the morning. I have to have an orange juice, Mosambi juice or a pineapple juice. That's for vitamin C, vitamin D. I have a paya soup once a week. Those are vegetarian drumstick. It's in sambar. They use drumstick, right? Drumstick. Very good in vitamin D, right? Use other, if you get uh, other ways of vitamin C, you can use it. Even uh, Limbu Pani has got vitamin C. Uh, good vitamin D, good vitamin C. Deep breathing, your breathing has to, you have to touch, you have to touch three liters. You have to cross three and a half liters. See this? Right? Almost four liters. The best way to do it, if you are watching, take a deep breath and come out with a hissing sound. Yes, sir. Yes, increase. sir. Yes, sir. More increase, seconds. Yeah. Increase your vital capacity. No marathon runner has got corona. No pranayam. Those who are doing yoga, pranayam, deep breathing, vital capacity, four liters, three and a half liters, they will not get. First three days, it's at your throat. Take steam twice a day. Keep sipping hot water. You will not get it. Have haldi do that night. Grandmother's terry. Turmeric and milk. Or have ginger tea. My tea is here ready always. Show you. <laughs> I put imli in it. I put uh, uh, ginger, imli, and very little of tea. Have it three, four times. You saw it when the uh, session started. I was drinking my tea. Yes, sir. Seen. So, depend. You increase your immunity. Why you are thinking of vaccine? You will not get it. You have enough immunity. Your body can fight it. Sitting at home thinking, Are we now correct? but how you know that the vaccine will be right? And for which one? And even if you get a vaccine of COVID-19, COVID-20 will come. Let us change your lifestyle. Increase your God. God gave you a lung for 5 liters. You can't maintain 2 liters. Then you want to blame COVID-19. Increase. And we have our old system. Our culture is so strong, Indian culture. It had said, please, till you all are there, the students are there. There is a reason of getting up early morning. Don't miss it. Your sleeping time is 11 to 4 night. Don't miss the 11 o'clock. You will say, I sleep at 12 o'clock, but get up at 8 o'clock. I compensate. No. 11 o'clock, much before. There's a whole, uh, there's a whole theory I cannot dis describe. At night, after you're having food, the, it has to become dark. For the brain to start working for repair work. Even your mobile phone on its light for the brain. It won't function. It does not repair. And through yoga, 11 to 4 is the best sleeping time. Get up early. There are theories. 
we had to do surya namaskar get up early morning take a bath go out of the house look at the east first ray of sun falls on you was called surya namaskar right then uh, moses came 3000 years back moses said going to the wailing war early morning shall take care of your health and wealth that's why they are the richest people jew then jesus came 1000 2000 years back jesus said the first mass is better than the rest of the day means go to church early morning is better than being in the church the whole day then 1400 years back prophet muhammad came he said kept the morning namaz one hour 20 minute before sunrise and said the first namaz should be in the mosque rest you can do it at home then science went after it so 19 years back science proved one hour 20 minute before sunrise the universe releases an ozone which is very 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 good for your health so we don't need to get up for some god you want to be healthy go and breathe ozone outside the house if you have a pet at home or a dog or a cat keep your door open i challenge you they will go outside the house one and a half hour before sunrise because the study showed went further there is no animal or bird in the world that does not get up one and a half hour before sunrise so they understand ozone better than us so if we are unhealthy we are not healthy nowadays is because we don't want to get up in the morning kya karenge pandemic mein uth ke subah the countries who understand the working the working timing is from 7 in the morning so they have to leave at 6 o'clock to reach at 7 because after they get up early morning they don't sleep those who understand that early morning but our office hours is uh, 10 o'clock 10:30 even if you go at 12 o'clock no problem right? and then we blame why we are unfit animals understand us better they sleep when the sun sets I saw a card just before pandemic. There was a card coming from a film star to me. The party will start at 11:45 p.m. That was the invitation. So I said, whether you are calling us for dinner or breakfast, 11:45 the party will start. Good question. Which world? I said I sleep at nine o'clock. How can I come? <laughs> But you call me if your party is there till breakfast. I will be there at 4:35 o'clock. I can come. Yes, sir. <laughs> so we we are being uh, yes, yes, sir. There are a few more important questions regarding our field, sir. I would like to uh, take that questions also. Yes. And uh, pre-operatively, can mapping give mental strength to attend operation? Post-operatively, will it heal? Uh, helps in fast healing. because we leave suggestions you can once you are in brain mapping you can leave suggestions we in our hospital before any surgery there is a session with physiotherapist so if it is a knee total knee being done our physiotherapist go and explain them static quadriceps for both legs so they they understand how what is static quadriceps so after surgery when they come they do it more easily then breathing exercises chest pt so before the surgery we teach them we show them how to do it so when they come out it's easier so in our hospital there's a good combination good coordination between the surgeon and physiotherapist we are just meeting as friend talking this all is because of our night duties also so night when they are free they are chatting they are talking so there's a good relation yes we are also expert we have our own uh, syllabus that we follow they want to say something to us so we work together sir one more question from uh, pooja sir why is still physiotherapy clinic is uh, registered under uh, paramedical it's not for me it's not municipal yes, we never got i showed you the who uh, reading to you the whole slide was what who has said about this we are out of paramedical stream Those okay. who are member of Maharashtra OTPD or Delhi or Gujarat, your council is important. The council doesn't put you under paramedical. It's an independent council, not a paramedical council. I don't know from which state Pooja may be. So maybe yes. that state doesn't have a council. If the state has a council, we are independent. Okay, sir. And the IAP next... allows you to be independent. All members of IAP can practice independently. Uh, any other any states apart from uh, these uh, council got states we had, also we had we had put that uh, notice in times of india long back almost 6 years back 
Dr. Yes, Jha sir. had put the notice. If we are an independent practitioner, anybody having any objection can go to court. Nobody went. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, from YouTube, go, what is what is MBBS? It's Bachelor in Medicine. Yes, sir. What they is, are not doctor actually. To be frankly saying, say, show me one degree, one mark sheet or degree of an MD, MS, and MBBS showing it as doctor. They are also yes. Miss, Mrs. Under the name Mr. Miss Mrs. We are also there. They go to MCI to become doctor. We go to IIB to become doctor. So it's it's a respect given. Tell me, we have parents. Do we call our parents by the name? We say no. mom, dad, papa, mama. Why? It's out of respect. So the word doctor in this country is out of respect, not out of degree. Only a person who is PhD can write doctor. The rest is all out of respect from the council and association. Uh, the astrologers are called something. Bhushan. Jyoti Bhushan. It's a title. Rajnish. There's a case of Rajnish in Allahabad High Court. Allahabad okay. High Court gave a hearing. The highest degree that one can give to oneself is Bhagwan. He used to call himself Bhagwan yes. Rajnish. Nobody could object it because he is calling himself. You don't call him. He cannot force you to call him. But he can call himself Bhagwan. You tomorrow call yourself God. Nobody can object. Put it on your visiting card also God. Nobody can. That's the highest degree. No? But you can't force <laughs> others to call you. So out of respect, people used to call him Bhagwan. He is not forcing anybody. So it's the whole uh, misconception about DR and all that thing what we are talking about. Yes. yes. Very nice explanation. Raise your standard to an extent that even God should ask you, what do you want? Okay, sir. I couldn't understand the meaning of those Hindi poetic lines. I said in English. But I will ask my friends to explain <laughs> later. I said it in English also. Raise your standard to an extent that even God should ask you, what do you want? Yes, 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 sir. Yes. And uh, from our YouTube viewer, uh, Mr. Ashurbad Das, does the every college has equal and enough opportunities also as the high level lecture to explore the physiotherapy in such a broad area as you told, sir? See, uh, I can't, I, uh, we, we have formed a syllabus trying all the universities to come together and uh, see each other's syllabus. So in Maharashtra, we all used to meet and make our syllabus into common syllabus, right? Only maybe what you learned in third year, I must have learned in fourth year or what I learned in second year, you must have learned in third year. But overall, when the term gets over, we have uh, gone through that whole thing. Now, calling of other experts, and nowadays, there is a lot of workshop done by other people. So, uh, knowledge has no end. How much more you want to learn, whether it is going to be through your own teachers, whether it's going to be, whether it's going to be from workshops which are happening, it's up to you how you are going to chase for knowledge. Knowledge doesn't end. I've still, I still attend workshops. I, I still attend workshops. So if there is a workshop, learning doesn't have age. Even if it was not on until January, if there was a nice workshop, I used to go and attend. Like anybody who could think of why he needs now. Right? Yes, sir. So there is no end to learning, and I've learned so many new techniques recently. Even on online, I've learned so much new. Learning yeah. doesn't end. Any questions from uh, viewers? Kindly handle to... for a minute, Rupesh. I want yes, for another webinar to go. One o'clock, I'll just shift. So please, yeah, finish sir. now. We'll go... We will yeah, be yeah. finishing now, sir. Within next we'll two to three minutes, last... we'll be finishing. Yeah, sir. Ah. Any book on brain mapping, sir? From there is there is action. there are books on body. Ah, he told. There are books on body electrics. There are books on brain mapping. But if you Google, you'll get all. There are lovely uh, YouTube. Me, there are things. And uh, one more question from Vaishnavi about COVID patient. Sure, we will be having a COVID uh, CPR session. Uh, Sari is running out of time also. So that uh, I would like to make uh, one more opportunity for a participant who is from Bangladesh. Kept on asking me that I want to talk to Ali Irani, sir. 
so he he he's having the first physio news channel internationally that is the first news channel i think so okay. uh, physio news 24 uh, i would like to welcome uh, shantanu malik from bangladesh uh, uh, dear team members please unmute him uh, let like yeah, have a word unmuted. with our ali yes, sir yes yeah uh, namaskar sir namaste uh, How are you, sir? No, I have played for yes. India in uh, in uh, Bangladesh. There was sir, a, uh, Asia, rest of Asia versus the winner of Asia Cup, which was India in Bangla eighty seven eighty eight. I beat okay, Sri Lanka, Dhaka, and the match was in Dhaka. So we had less players. No Indian player wanted to play. So finally, I was pushed in to play. I made sixteen okay, runs, took two wickets, one catch. <laughs> Okay, sir. That's great, sir. And that that's was my uh, memory. That's my memory of Dhaka and Chittagong. That that time I was maybe sir five years old. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about eighty seven, eighty eight. Yes. So sorry. Yes. Yeah. Sir, uh, a big company like we have Tata's here. There should be Espahani's there. Shakir Espahani, Espahani Jude, okay. Espahani T. All that that big company in uh, yes. Dhaka. So I should in be Dakar. Chita Ch Chita Ong region, sir. Chita Ong region. Yes. Ispan. From Chita Ong. I've been to his house also. So as Chandra Madan sourced from where you are, so Shakir Ispani also his parents came from Iran, but they settled in Chita Ong, and my father settled in Mumbai. Yes, sir. So we had lot to discuss among them. Okay, Go ahead. Nice of your new that's channel that's and that's congratulations for. I pray that your talk goes more success and talks more about physiotherapy to the world. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, we are like to invite you, sir, in future, sir. Definitely. So, thank Already you, I... thank you, Santanu Malik. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you, you very much yeah. for joining with us. Thank you. And one more final and uh, difficult question Chandra for Ali Rani sir Chandra and Chandra sir. And thank you, Chandra Mohan, for happy World Physiotherapy Day. Chandra. Sir, we are we are going to share invitation, sir. Please hold on. and i request my team to share invitation before that there is one final difficult question answer for you who is your favorite cricketer wow it was asked by my own sister so i request you to answer too many you can say heart wise you can say exercise wise you can say naughty wise each one i have to select the naughtiest <laughs> was ajay jadeja uh, very thinking was anil kumble a big dil big hearted person was azharuddin uh, to do more than required was kapil dev uh, the laziest person you could say was at start was vinod kamli we had to force him to become serious about his game so each one had their own plus point you can't uh, they have to come into different categories okay Thank you so much, sir. We are releasing our uh, world record event invitation, and you are our first invitee. And kindly accept the invitation through virtually. This invitation is not only for you, for all the fraternity of physiotherapists all over the globe. Especially uh, uh, here, we are presenting my sister, who is founder, and also the whole financial support for me for throughout this webinar series. to pay the world record office to pay the web for the website to pay for the zoom meeting and uh, i'm thankful for her and uh, apart from her we are having a uh, chief guest of dr ali rani sir then our uh, sanjeev ja sir then uh, anna male sir and also world record official mr r rajendran uh, assist world record which is having a 103 countries uh, world record holders in it and only indian brand which is having Uh, more than uh, 100 uh, world record 100 countries world record holders and our beloved dr b murugan president tamil nadu iap and the final topic will be presented by dr anik thomas uh, from uh, st johns medical college bangalore karnataka and our team sri samraj health services and uh, pickle studio exrx india and do sat creations we all all inviting you sir please be there with us for the moment this is a proud moment for all the indian physios i invite all indian physios resource persons from student side resource persons from the graduate side and all the participants from all over the globe i take this opportunity to invite you all
Thank you, Dr. Priya Darshani, for your uh, being the backbone of Dr. Chandramohan. Yes, sir. I will convey your uh, wishes to her. And uh, thanks for joining with us, sir. We had a wonderful session. Uh, so, uh, here uh, we will be concluding it now, within a minute now. I thank EXRX India team members, Dr. Vairav, Dr. Rupesh, Professor Duna, and Professor Duna's team, Ms. Simran, Alisha, and Uma, for a wonderful help to run the show with Smooth. And I thank all the participants. There are many participants, international participants today, just because it's Dr. Ali Ranisha's show. Yes, and uh, it was full. After a long day, we were, we were so happy that it was full and I would like to thank uh, Dr. Ria Panchal because of her only we have reached to Dr. Ali Rani sir and I thank uh, all the participants in Zoom meeting and I once again wish all my teachers, all my friends all over the globe a yeah, very happy Teachers Day. Thank you so much sir. Bye bye sir. Thank you. God bless all thank of you. Sir. May God give you all a healing end on this Teachers Day. All the best. God bless. Thank you very much sir. Thank you sir. Thank you very much, sir. Bye-bye, sir. Bye-bye, sir.